Rick and Gary Ferris. Second generation harvesters, Rick and Gary took over their father Gene Ferris's harvesting operation. Gene started with combines pulled by mules. And during World War II, Gene joined Roosevelt Jones and established Cutter, and together they purchased two Massey 21s and joined the Harvest Brigade during the war. Rick and Gary's older brother, Robert, took over the business from Gene when his health started failing. Robert ran the harvest with Rick and Gary until he graduated from college and joined the military. Rick and Gary kept on harvesting, going to college, and during 1964, Gene passed away, leaving the harvest business to Rick and Gary at a young age. For roughly 30 years, Ferris Brothers ran Massey Ferguson combines, Super 92s, 410s, 510s, 760s, and 860s. To this day, Rick still believes those 860s could cut as many acres as his new Case IH combines. During this time, Rick and Gary made many inventions that helped not only them, but other cutters as well. Some of these are header booms, header trailers, combine trailers, aluminum truck boxes, utility beds, fuel tanks, pup trailers, grain trailers, and various small items to improve harvesters' efficiency and their equipment. In 1980, Gary left the harvest business to pursue a career in the welding shop. Gary has remarked that the hired help drove him crazy. But Gary didn't get very far from the harvest business because he still spent many days and nights fixing equipment, trucks, headers, etc. for Rick and many other harvesters. Gary's shop to this day is the place to go to get an idea built or the quickest way to get a wreck rolling again. Meanwhile, Rick continued on harvesting and started doing experimental work with Massey Ferguson. This continued until Massey quit building combines in 1987. A harvester without a combine company. Like many other harvesters, Rick went looking for a new company. He went to Hoxie Implement and with the help of Jerry Heim, purchased four 1680s and started to be a part of the Rotary Revolution. Rick joined the USCHI organization with many other harvesters at a meeting in 1984 at Great Bend, Kansas at the Black Angus Inn. Rick began his political career at this time. He fought for property tax legislation and finding insurance companies for harvesters. This led to the USCHI starting their own safety program, which Rick and others traveled across the wheat belt to put on to show insurance companies that harvesters do care about safety. Rick also worked long and hard with USDOT to maintain harvesters' driving exemption that's still found today. This was not easy, and Rick will still help any harvester with DOT problems. Rick also was instrumental in helping pass legislation, getting an apportioned tag for custom harvesting. Although Rick hasn't been president since 1988, he still remains thoroughly active in USCHI. Rick has become very active with Case IH and their safety programs seen every year at the Harvest Kickoff Meeting in Frederick, Oklahoma. He also runs experimental parts and combines for Case IH, being at the cutting edge of innovation. Rick and Gary Ferris, outstanding members of the 2018 Hall of Fame for U.S. Custom Harvesters Incorporated.